Prince Charles has had several significant female figures in his life including one who was around from the very start. This is the woman Charles wept for long before Princess Diana or Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall came along. Prince Charles's first marriage to Princess Diana was one of the most high-profile relationships the world has ever seen. Their divorce and Diana's tragic death undoubtedly had an indelible impact on the Prince of Wales. There is also no denying the special bond he shares with his second wife and long-term friend Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. However, years before the prince walked down the aisle, there was another very important woman on the scene. Prince Charles is Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip's oldest son and first in line to the British throne. Unlike his boisterous father, Prince Charles was a shy and sensitive child who was cared for mostly by his nanny, Mabel Anderson. Mabel Anderson looked after Charles as a baby and helped raise all of the Queen's children. When Charles was growing up at Buckingham Palace it wasn't unusual for him to live a fairly separate life from that of his parents. The Queen and Prince Philip were both busy attending to royal duties when Charles was young. While they saw Charles on a daily before bed the young prince spent most of his time in his beloved nanny Ms. Anderson's, or Miss B, company. Mabel and Prince Charles formed an incredible bond which has lasted until this day. Royal author Robert Jobson, who wrote Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams described Ms. Anderson as Charlie's Rock. While royal expert and biographer Ingrid Seward has claimed Charles's wept for Miss B. Daly when he was first sent away to boarding school. The young royal was heartbroken to be torn away from his nanny when he was sent to Jean School at the age of eight. In her biography My Husband and I, The Inside Story of 70 Years of the Royal Marriage Ms. Seward writes, his Charles' first few days as boarder at Jean, he would later recall, were the most miserable of his life. According Ms. Seward the Queen recalled how Charles had shuddered with apprehension as he journeyed to Jean for his first day. Charles's nanny Mabel Anderson told Ms. Seward, he dreaded going away to school. Ms. Seward claimed Prince Charles was heartbroken at having to leave Ms. Anderson. She wrote, heartbroken, he would write to Miss B every day. He used to cry into his letters and say I miss you. Royal author Mr. Jobson has reaffirmed the pivotal role Prince Charles's nanny played in his upbringing and how he cared for her deeply. Mr. Jobson told, Mabel Anderson was certainly Prince Charles's rock when he was a young and sensitive child. Of course in a different way Her Majesty the Queen Mother, the Queen, and of course his wife the Duchess of Cornwall are paramount female figures in his life. But Mabel was a key person in his formative years. She was always there for him and he cared for her deeply. According to Mr. Jobson, Charles went to special lengths to ensure Mabel was well looked after in her retirement. He said, when she retired, Charles secured her a lifelong grace and favor home for her and personally supervised its redecoration using his own designer. He also took her along on a royal cruise once of the Aegean with Camilla aboard John Latsy's yacht. Mr. Jobson explained Mabel is loved by Charles to this day and is often a guest of honor at Windsor. Mr. Jobson said, Mabel is loved by Charles and was often on a select guest list to Windsor Castle. Mabel, who started as an assistant nanny, to help the then Princess Elizabeth who was pregnant with Charles. Despite her lack of formal training was chosen by the future Queen because Her Majesty liked her quiet, unassuming manner. According to Mr. Jobson it was Mabel who did most of the caring for Charles in his early years. He said, it was Mabel who put Charles to bed, told him stories, patched up his cuts and bruises and hit upon the idea of teaching the royal corgis hide and seek with princess and so that she wouldn't miss Charles when he started school.